Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Miss Naturally Mary here. And if you are new, be sure to subscribe before you leave. I am bringing the heat today. Y'all are gonna go crazy when y'all see the method that I'm gonna show you all with installing a V-Part wig. It requires no leave out, no lace, no glue. It's a tension-free method. And if you're someone who's ever struggled with blending, this video is absolutely for you. Now we are doing some crochet braids, but we're doing it with a wig. And this is a V-Part wig from Nadula Hair. And this is one of the brands that I wear all the time. You guys are constantly asking me where do you get your kinky curly hair this is one of the brands their hair is affordable and i love it this is what the texture looks like i got mine in lip 20 i have a half wig from them that i wear all the time i've had it for a year now and it's still hanging on strong so this hair does last a good amount of time with any v-part wig this is what the closure looks like there isn't any lace but there are clips on the inside so that you can secure it down it also has combs and an adjustable strap for added security there's a comb at the bottom and two on the side but i actually missed the two on the side until the end of the video and we'll talk about that later so right now i'm placing the unit on a mannequin head so that you all can get a better view of what it looks like there is an opening in the area where you would typically have leave out but it's a small opening requiring little to no leave out but in this video i'm going to show you guys an easy method to install the unit with no leave out and it's actually better than the viral video that i did in the past so be sure to like comment and share this video with a friend because i'm about to hook y'all up now y'all know before installing any of my kiki curly wigs i always co-wash them first and i do so with my aussie seven in one conditioner i'm also going to define the curls with my felicia leatherwood brush so I'm gonna allow you all to watch that process and then I'll come back on when we move on to the next step. Yeah. Tell me now, do you wanna? Tell me now, would you wanna go back that way? You been up since a quarter. Now that I've rinsed the conditioner out of the hair, I am lightly drying it with a towel. And I did leave some of the conditioner in the hair as a styler. I typically do that with this texture, but I am gonna add some melanin hair care leave-in to the ends and coil it around my finger in order to add more definition. This makes such a huge difference in how chunky and beautiful the curls look in the end. So be sure not to skip this step. You been up since a quarter to it's too late. Tell me how it's going down. Yeah, cause y'all don't know this part of town. Cause I've been waiting for you now Giving me the run around What you wanna do? Can we rely on you? Don't be afraid to choose You got nothing to prove So now it's time to get started with my natural hair wig prep I did actually go through the process of stretching my hair after I washed it. And I did so using Outchalus goodie bands. So I'm just gonna remove those and then go about the process of parting my hair off and beginning to braid. Just know you got it, yo. Hey. You got it, yo. Hey. Know you got it, yo. Yo, yo, yeah, you know you got it, yo. Y'all, look at how juicy the curls look after allowing the hair to air dry overnight. They look so good and I cannot wait to install the unit. Before completing my braid pattern, I'm gonna try the unit on because I cannot wait. So I'm gonna put on a stocking cap in the back just to protect my hair and then I'm gonna proceed to put the unit on. I am gonna insert the clips at this time, but it's only to show you all what the unit looks like on my head. I'm also gonna separate the curls and then I'm gonna proceed to go back to braiding my hair and prepping it for the crochet braid V-part install. Some pretty eyes and a pretty face, but you knew that Picture perfect any time of day, like a Kodak She don't need nobody else to say, she gon' do that And can't nobody get up in the way, and she bad as she a Nice thing with the diamonds biting Cute smile from the teeth whitening Drip down with the kick so clean And she ain't really worried about the thing okay. 2 a.m. we gon' cruise to the D-Town You and me, girl, you can let your head down You're so perfect, you the 
this heavy on crown Beautiful all the way from the top down Top down, top down Beautiful all the way from the top down You're so perfect, you this heavy on crown Beautiful all the way from the top down Shorty bad and she know that she is She be getting what she want and she don't pay for a thing She gon' pull her to the front, she look at clean with a friend so now that I've separated the curls, I'm going to take the wig off and begin preparing my hair for the crochet method. I'm going to do two braids on each opposing side of the part. One braid is going to be my anchor braid. The other braid is going to be the braid that I use to crochet the hair in. Keep in mind that it's not necessary for your braids to be tight. I did mine really loose because I don't like a lot of tension at my roots. I also felt like removing the wig was much easier in the end because they weren't tight. And I am going to show you all that process, so keep watching. So this is what the braid pattern looks like, but we're not done. I am going to prep my edges and everything and also the area near the part because I want it to look really smooth and sleek so that it blends naturally with the hair texture. I want the hair to look like it grew out of my scalp. So I want to ensure that the roots match the texture. So I am going to make sure I add some all natural curl defining glaze and this adds shine to my hair. I'm going to follow that up with some eco styler gel and then also some got to be glue gel because I do have type four hair. I want to ensure that my hair does not get frizzy and that it does maintain the sleekness. So I am going to apply those three products to my edges as well as to the roots near my part just so everything blends well. And it looks like the hair texture from the wig is actually my hair texture. Now this type is optional, but I typically go in with topic hair fibers in order to fill in my edges just to make them look full and to ensure that my edges somewhat match the volume of the hair that I'm wearing. I didn't mention this earlier, but this is a key factor in ensuring that your install looks natural. And that is making sure that you do not braid too close to the part. You want to give yourself enough room to smooth down the roots so that when you crochet the hair in it actually looks like it's growing from your scalp. When we wear our natural hair there isn't a hump that's right near the part so you don't want to put the braid right there. You want to make sure that area near your part is nice and smooth and flat so that it looks like it's actually your hair. Once you've applied all your products, be sure to add a satin scarf, leave it on for 10 minutes. Once you take it off, this is how it will look. So now it's time for the exciting part, the wig install. You wanna first start by opening up the clips, positioning the unit where it needs to be, and you're gonna insert those clips not into the first braid, but into the second braid. And you wanna make sure that you're inserting it into the braided portion, not into your roots. That's gonna ensure that you don't have any pain or tension. I love this method so much for that reason. Now I know some of you guys are probably a bit nervous at this point because there is a good amount of space in the center, but we're gonna fill that up and not with added hair, but hair from the wig, y'all. This method is so good. I cannot wait to show y'all. Keep watching. All right, so the next step is the crochet process. I'm gonna take small bits of hair and I'm gonna begin to crochet it into that first braid. So you want to start by opening up the crochet needle, sliding it under the braid, and then you want to attach the hair to the needle, close the needle, and then pull it through the braid. Once you fold over the strand that you push through, it's going to look like it grew out of your scalp. Yes, y'all, this is the easiest crochet method I've ever done, and it doesn't take much time at all. And because this is curly hair, you don't have to use many sections of hair from the wig in order to complete this process. Give me that, pull up on a lot like give me that. Two tone vertigo, give me that, give me that, give me that. Pray for the wind like give me that, 
God said he gon' give me that. I put in the work like give me that. Give me that, give me that, give me that. Pull up on a lot like give me that. Two tone vertigo, give me that, give me that, give me that. Pray for the wind like give me that. God said he gon' give me that. I put in the work like give me that. Give me that, give me that. Okay, love, give me that. Pull up in the scene in the Pontiac. Two door with the top back. Me and Wody, we coming with all of that. I put in the work and made it go pop. A lot of y'all tweaking, I'm praying to God. Hustle on 10, I can't never get caught. Whole team winning when I'm doing my job. I just slide, drop. I'm finna make it go hard. No handouts, I came from the slime. But Kayla told me, go and get it, it's mine. I gotta go hard for real. You cannot die at the skill. Cause young boy coming for the kill. I tell you, give me that. Pull up on a lot, like, give me that. Two tone vertigo, give me that. Give me that, give me that. Pray for the win, like, give me that. God said he gon' give me that. I put in the work, like, give me that. Give me that, give me that. Pull up on a lot like give me that. Two tone vertigo, give me that. Give me that, give me that. Pray for the wind like give me that. God said he gon' give me that. I put in the work like give me that. Give me that, give me that. I found the beat, cut it up like some surgery. All of my sons trying to sleep like a nursery. Shawty wanna twerk, I had to curve her out of curse. She told me give her one, but my diamond probably murdered me. Woo, woo, hey, yeah, I'll praise to the Lord. Don't mean no disrespect, but it's our time, so don't hate on the boy. Woo, dang, yo, do not miss the truth. Me and Mikey J, we came to slide, yeah, we coming through. Give me that, pull up on a lot, like, give me that. Two tone vertigo, give me that. Give me that, give me that. Pray for the wind, like, give me that. God said he gon' give me that. I put in the work, like, give me that. Give me that, give me that. Give me that, pull up on a lot, like, give me that. Two tone vertigo, give me that. Give me that, give me that. Pray for the wind, like, give me that. God said he gon' give me that. I put in the word, like, give me that. Y'all, is your jaw on the floor right now? <laughs> I feel like this method is just mind blowing. It is so good. So, right now, I did decide to shape the hair, and I'm only gonna do it minimally. I wish I had done it while it was wet. I didn't actually wanna disturb the curls, but shaping the hair really gives it added flair, and it just creates the look that I like. But do whatever suits your taste. turned out so much better than I expected and your girl was so hype. I cannot wait to hear your comments and feedback regarding this method. Let me know what you all think about this hair. It looks so gorgeous. The length is perfect. It's so soft and chunking the curls on the ends just really takes it up a notch. Y'all get into the roots though. This looks like it's my hair. It's just so crazy how this turned out. Sometimes wigs with this cap construction can be quite intimidating, especially if you want to wear hair texture that doesn't necessarily match your hair texture. This will eliminate that intimidation. You can now wear any texture and you can do this with a U-part wig. You can do it with a thin part wig. You can also do it with a sew-in. This method is so great, but I love how it turned out on this V-part kinky curly wig by Nadula Hair. And they are having their fifth anniversary sale currently. So be sure to check the description box for the sale details, but don't click off this video just yet. I'm gonna show you guys how to remove it. Now, I did wanna wear the unit tonight, but because I love y'all so much, and I know I was gonna have so many questions about how to remove it, I'm gonna show you all quickly how it's done. It's super easy. You're gonna be astonished. <laughs> So 
you need to do is pull each section of hair back through the braid and then remove your clips, take the unit off, and you're all set. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Be sure to like and share it with a friend. This video needs to go viral. Everybody needs to know about this. I love you guys and I'll see you all in my next video. And y'all, we made it to 600K. Thank you all so much. I'll see you all in my next one. Bye guys. Yeah.